Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the campus of Baltimore City Community College here in Baltimore, Maryland. Mark Winkle bringing you the action today as we have a great one, as always, here in this arena as the Baltimore City Panthers will play host to the Howard Community College Dragons. Baltimore City coming here with an 8-7 and seven record coming off of a huge comeback victory over Potomac State, 90-86. to 86. They were down big at halftime, came back and able to pull off the big win in West Virginia just five days ago. Their last appearance here in this gym, a classic in the making as Prince George's was able to prevail all over the Panthers, 86-85 in an overtime thriller. Hopefully we have some more good fireworks here for this one. Baltimore City has beaten the Dragons 10 of the last 12 contests as the Panthers have definitely gotten the better of the Dragons over the past decade. For the Dragons though, they're coming in hot as they come in with a 15 and five record. They are six and one in Maryland play as they continue to have another strong season under head coach Mike Smelkinson. Taking a look at the starters real quick today for the Dragons. A little bit of a change since their last, the early parts of the season, but they're same the last couple games. It is going to be number two, Shane Taylor. Number four, Jalen Bowie. Number 11, Emmanuel Enriquez. The front court, number 12, Omich Wilson. And the sophomore All-American, number 33, Andrew Mills. For the hometown Panthers, a change in their starting lineup as well as a big injury to number three, Afani Lewis has him out of the starting lineup today. A big loss for the Panthers. So it will be Marquise Delahaye, he who has been on fire, scored 33 points against Potomac State as he has found his rhythm and has started to carry the offensive weight of this team. Starting in place of Lewis, it's gonna be number four, freshman guard Antonio Fliggins. He will try to step in and provide some added scoring that is lost from Lewis not being in the lineup. Point guard Zach Smith, the sophomore out of Hartford, Connecticut. He gets the start as well, along beside the freshman forward, number 15, Blake Neverden, and the freshman forward, number 22, Cut Dang. Two sides are still warming up. We've got about 11 minutes until the pregame tip-off, and we will be back with you after this short break.
Antonio Clemens, Cotton Academy, major accountant. Kurt Dang, Henley High School, business manager. Zach Smith, Piper High School, general mm -hmm. studies. Blake Neverdon, Paisal High School, robotics engineer. Sam Johnson, Louis Cofino, business manager. Bonnie Lewis, Eleanor Roosevelt High School, business marketing. Dre Sean Hodge, Lee Fletcher High School, general studies. Carlos Green, Pikesville High School, my major is General Studies. Joshua Bryant, Sioux High School, General Studies. Keith Henderson Jr., New Era Academy, Business Manager. Marquis Bellet, Northwestern High School, major is Early Child Education.
And we are underway here in Baltimore City Community College as the Dragons in their black uniforms, the Panthers in their reds. Shane Taylor, the sophomore guard, gives it to a fellow sophomore, Andrew Mills. Mills, turn around jumper, that's no good. Omich Wilson, he gets the offensive rebound. His putback is no good, and it's going to be rebounded by Blake Neverton, number 15. That is Hut Dang trying to back in, has it stripped away. Jalen Bowie goes inside, and he's going to be fouled on the way up, I believe. And the foul will be given to Antonio Fliggins, the freshman guard number four, getting the start today, as I mentioned in the pregame, in place of the injured Afani Lewis. And Bowie will go to the line for two free throws. Jalen Bowie comes into the year, or excuse me, comes into the game shooting 51% from the free throw line on this year. Certainly a disappointing start from the line for such a talented player. He's been starting almost every game. 17 games he started for the Dragons this year as he is able to make one of two, and he gets on the board for the first point of the game. Fliggins, skip pass across, finds Neverdin, and it's, he's going to try to go baseline. Omich Wilson tried to block the path, and it's going to be called for a blocking foul in the process. First foul against the Dragons. Panthers moving the ball around the perimeter. Finds an open cut dang from the outside. Doesn't hit. And it's going to be an offensive rebound and foul as Marquise Delahaye was held on the play by Shane Taylor. So Delahaye will get another possession for the Panthers. Fliggins trying to get around Enriquez. Great defense by Enriquez. Fliggins can't find anywhere. Never did a good cut inside. Missed on it, but Delahaye with the follow-up, able to put it in. And Panthers take their first lead of the game at 2-1. Delahaye, as I mentioned, a massive game against Potomac State, scoring 33 points, along with 12 rebounds. Into the corner goes Emmanuel Enriquez. His three-pointer from the corner. Yes, sir. That's in for the Dragons. As Howard takes the lead back at 4-2. Emmanuel Enriquez has been getting more starts of late for the Dragons. Just started five games as his sixth start of the season. He's played in all 20 games. That one just off the rim, and it's going to stay here. It's going to be another defensive foul for the Dragons on the rebound attempt. This time it's going to be on Bowie for being called for the hold. And the Panthers will get another chance. Delhay to inbound it. Throws it to the corner. Picked up by point guard Zach Smith. Smith gets around his man. Sutter step gets into the layup lane and is able to put it off the glass and in. Nice drive by Smith. Full court man to man press as Neverden trying to take on Bowie. Bowie having a hard time getting rid of it. Now we'll give it to Mills at the top of the key. Inside. Enriquez likes his chance against Fliggins. Tries to go for the one-handed floater. That's no good. Fliggins on the move. Fliggins cuts inside. That is off the front of the rim. Good rebound by Bowie. Howard with good transition defense there to not allow the easy layup. As Fliggins was contested on that Bowie. Cuts inside. That is too easy. Bowie just found an acres of space inside the paint and rolls it in to give the Dragons the lead back. And that is going to be a turnover there. Neverden trapped in the corner. Turns it over and the Dragons get the work done on defense. Bowie, bring it up slowly this time that as Fliggins will take him on one-on-one. -on -one. Wilson begging for the ball in the paint and Mills called for the traveling violation. Wilson was begging for it down low, might have thrown Mills off and trying to pull it up to pass it and then just took one too many steps. 
for the travel. Fliggins. Fliggins gets around his man at first. Good help by Wilson. Flings it around. Smith will go to the rim. Tough layup and Smith able to roll it in. Omidge Wilson was right in his face and Smith still able to get it in. Back the other way, Howard goes. Mills turn around and is able to find the glass. He'll lay it in. Good assist there from Bowie. Back and forth we go. This ball is finding the bottom of the net so far in this game, early and often. Inside, Smith goes, and it's going to be called a held ball as Bowie was able to get his hands on it. With Smith trying to go up, it will stay with the Panthers. 17 on the shot clock. Smith directing traffic, throws up for Dang. He's going to have a hard time keeping this in, but does a good job of snagging it and keeping his feet in bounds. Dang pulls up for the three-pointer. That's off the front of the rim. Taylor with the rebound. He'll get on his horse. Pushes off Smith along the way. Bowie at the top of the key. Works it inside. Picks up a double team. Kicks it out to Taylor who decides not to shoot at the three-point specialist. Doesn't quite pull the trigger on that one. Good passing by the Dragons. Wilson, reverse layup, puts it in, and that is going to force a timeout from Coach Wooten of the Panthers. Dragons ahead 10 to six early in this game. Zach Smith, who we saw struggle from the field last time he was at home, didn't struggle from the free throw line as he got to the line early and often and made his free throws. So far in this game, he's getting to the rim with a couple layups, leading the team with four points. Delahaye's got two off of his offensive rebound put back. I mentioned before, Panthers shorthanded in this game as they have not a very deep team as it is, and then losing one of your key starters, Inafani Lewis. I have to wonder how much Coach Wooten will rely on his starting five in this game. Fliggins will inbound it from under his own basket. Full court press for the Dragons. It's a 1-2-2 two, two full court press. Taylor gets a hand on it, but it is going to fall into the hands of Neverton. He's going to attack the rim. Goes up with it. The foul and the basket counts. Blake Neverton with a huge play for the Panthers as he went up strong. Mills defended that sideways. That's not how you want to take that one. And that's an easy foul to call for the referees. Mills picks up his first foul, and Neverton has a chance to make this a one-point game if he can make the hoop and arm. And surely does. Baltimore City will put on their full court press. It's a 2-2-1. Two, two, Howard breaks it. Now they're trying to see if they can get through. But a good job by Cut Dang to stop the fast break opportunity. Howard gets into their half court offense. Bowie curls around. Gives it up to Wilson. Not a threat from outside. Tries to give it up to Mills, but misses on the pass. Dang with the steal. Going back the other way. Has opportunities on the other side, but Enriquez read it all the way, and he will go back and slam it down unopposed. The Panthers were begging for the ball on the near side here of your camera and just couldn't quite connect the passes. Enriquez almost baited them on that one, playing like a safety in the NFL. Neverden goes in towards it, and it's going to be an offensive foul. Taylor takes the charge, and Blake Neverden can't believe that one. Neverden called for the foul and having a scoreboard correction as the points will have to be taken off the board as the scoreboard operator had put points on as the basket or the ball the shot did go in, but canceled out by the offensive foul. That would give Howard a chance to put in their first sub. It's going to be Ryan Conway, number 21, coming in as he will replace Andrew Mills. Conway gives it to Enriquez. Bowie from the corner hits it. Jalen Bowie confidently strokes that one. Howard ahead 15 to 9. Baltimore City cuts it inside. Fliggins, good pump fake. 
turnaround jumper of Fliggins. Beautiful work as Enriquez went for the block and just sailed over him. Bowie will slow things down for Howard. Wilson turns towards basket. He's going to go for it. Has the ball picked away. Delahaye, after getting the steal, will go up with it and lays it in. A great pass from Smith on the full court throw. Now Deng will pick off the inbound pass. Deng will put it up, and it's another basket for the Panthers. Just like that, they have tied the game at 15 all. What a turn of events as the timeout by Coach Wooten certainly worked. Enriquez will take it himself, goes up, and Baltimore City didn't have the help to slide over and cut off that fast break. Coach Wooten looks like he's putting that one on Smith. Fliggins taking his time, taking on Bowie. Fliggins trying to get inside. Bowie all over him. Fliggins with the fadeaway jumper. That's going to fall in. Fliggins feeling that fadeaway jumper. Hitting the last two of them. Wilson will take it by himself. One verse three, and he will put it in. Baltimore City was there that time, but Wilson just muscled his way into the paint, puts it in, and we're back ahead, 19-17. This Dragons team pride themselves on defense. They are allowing opponents just 62 points per game, but right now, Points are coming a plenty on both sides. Enriquez is going to be called for the foul, his first. And correction, that's going to be the second foul on Emmanuel Enriquez. Nope, that is his first. So he will still take the bench after the foul, and Mills will come back in the game for him. Smith will go way back in his own half to collect that, and now we'll start with a head of steam forward. Picks up the double team, kicks it out to a wide open Neverden. He'll fly for three. That's no good. And that's going to be tipped out by Howard, and it's going to stay with the Panthers. Another sub coming for Howard as it's going to be number three, John Thomas, the sophomore guard out of Baltimore, Maryland, went to Patterson High School. Coming in from each Wilson. Howard going with a bit of a smaller lineup here, four guards on the court. Smith tries his luck, taking on Conway, puts it in, basket counts, and the foul. Zach Smith going in strong as the Panthers continue to go with what works for them and is getting to the rim. Conway called for the foul, and Smith has a chance to take the lead for Baltimore City here. Smith coming in, a 75% free throw shooter, and he knocks that one down, and indeed, the Panthers do take the lead at 20 to 19. 12 minutes left in this first half. Thomas collects for Howard. Double teamed in the corner, able to get away. Now he's gonna ask for it back. Thomas thought about shooting from long distance. Pulls it down instead, tries to go for the baseline. Now he's trapped in the corner once again. Floats up for Conway. Conway, pump fake on the pass. He'll throw it up onto the layup, but is just going to miss on the layup. Foul will be called, however, and it will be against number 10, Joshua Bryan, who had just checked in for Baltimore City. Bryant, the freshman out of Capitol Heights, Maryland, picks up his first foul. Sixth of the game for the Panthers. Conway misses the first free throw. Conway, an 85% free throw shooter on the year. Misses both of them, but Bowie with the offensive rebound. Taylor cut inside for Mills, but blocked away by Neverden. Mills didn't go up strong with that one, and Neverden timed his jump well, slammed it against the backboard. Panthers with a chance to extend their lead. Dang, working on Mills now. He'll float it from inside. That one's tipped away. Tries to be saved by Bryant. Three bodies on the floor, still being knocked around. Mills still trying to get control of it. And he will control that tip to Conway. Going up with it is Conway. He'll kick it out to a wide open Thomas for three in the elbow. That's no good. Mills with the offensive rebound. 
Kicks it to Bowie. Bowie trying to go somewhere with it. And now it's Mills from the top of the key. That one's going to rattle out. Dang with the rebound. Smith. Five out for the Baltimore City, opening up the middle of the court. Gives it up to Dang. Dang, spin move. Lefty, hook shot, that's in. Cut Dang, showing off the moves. Baltimore City increased the lead by three. Midway through this first half. Howard played last night, defeating Cecil College, 86-75. I have to wonder if they're a little bit slow out of the gates after playing in back-to-back -back games, maybe wearing on them a bit. Certainly they have a deeper bench, however. Mills, spin move inside. That one's gonna go off the rim, no good. Rebounded by Neverden. Dang, cuts inside. He's gonna shoot this one from the free throw line. That's good, cut dang. Showing some inside out game. And Panthers ahead 24-19. Taylor trapped in the corner. Skip pass away to Bowie and he'll slow things down as Howard gets into their half court offense. Mills to Taylor. He'll try to turn the corner, no dice there. Thomas with seven seconds left on the shot clock. Thomas is gonna go to the rim and he's gonna be fouled on the play. As that will be Keith Henderson Jr. who just checked in. Freshman from Baltimore, Maryland. Excuse me, it's gonna be called on Smith. And that will be Smith's first foul of the game. Thomas shooting two free throws. Misses the first one. Thomas a 60% free throw shooter. Howard has a team shooting just 68% from the free throw line. For a team that's coming in with a 15 and five record, that's certainly not a number that head coach Mike Smelkinson of the Dragons would love to hear. Thomas on his second try, that one is good. Henderson gets the inbound. Bounces that pass across, but nobody's home. The question about it was whether it's going to be tipped out. I don't think Conway, who dove into the stands, realized that nobody on this team had touched it. Now there's some question about the shot clock, about what it should be at. Right now the shot clock is showing 30. That certainly can't be right. And they're going to drop it down to 22. Passed into the sideline. Smith tried to dribble between his legs, able to get the recontrol. Fliggins from the outside. He'll pull up for the jumper, and it's good. Antonio Fliggins feeling it right now. He's up to six points on the game. Baltimore City ahead by six. Thomas tried to pass it off. And Howard coaching staff not happy the fact, why was he passing that off? He had a free lane to the basket. Just put that up on the rim. Conway gives it to Enriquez in the corner. Thomas. Thomas working towards the middle. Pulls up at the free throw line. That's too strong. Rebounded by Smith. Coming back the other way. Zach Smith puts a move on. Goes to his left. Delhay from the corner. He'll let it fly. Goes off the top of the backboard. Rebounded by Wilson. Conway pushes the pace. Thomas, another three-pointer from the wing. That's no good. Enriquez with the offensive rebound. He'll go up with it, and Enriquez able to lay it off the glass, puts it in. Manuel Enriquez up to seven points. Delahaye, nobody guarding him. Will go all the way in and slam it down. Miscommunication between the Dragons. Nobody picking up the leading scorer. Never a good idea. Thomas, he'll drive it inside, kicks it out. Good passing by the Dragons. Conway wide open for three, he'll miss that one. Rebounded by number 15, Blake Neverden. Smith, 
Takes on Thomas. Smith throws it off the back. We're no good. And that's going to be a foul on Brian as he tried to fly over the back of Thomas. And it's called for the pushing foul in the process. Howard, a couple more subs as we'll see Taylor return the game. And first instance of seeing Jaden Johnson, the freshman guard out of Upper Barbara, Maryland, Prince George's County High School Player of the Year. Get some action here for the Dragons. Foul called against Bryant. That's his second. Correction, they're going to call that on Neverden, so that will be his second as well. And that will be Omich Wilson at the line shooting two free throws. Wilson, a 56% free throw shooter. And he'll miss that one, rebounded by Delhe. Inside goes Fliggins, Fliggins with the left hand, that's no good, rebounded by Wilson. Back the other way, Bowie pushing the pace. Bowie will put up the floater, that's good in the paint. Jalen Bowie up to eight points. The point guard for the Dragons, not necessarily known for being a high scorer, but did put up a bunch of points against Cecil last night. Perhaps taking a bit more upon himself to add some scoring output for the Dragons. Delahaye, speaking of out scoring output, Marquise Delahaye puts in the three pointer. His first one made, a, he's one for three from behind the arc, but. Certainly capable of scoring anywhere on this court, it seems like. As he's going to be able to put it up to nine points on the game. Taylor with the three-pointer. That's no good. Rebounded by Smith. Back the other way. Smith, what a move. Euro step around and lays it in. Scoring up and down the Baltimore City lineup right now. They're getting it from everybody. Zach Smith up to nine points. Baltimore City up nine on the Dragons. Taylor tries to cut inside. He'll pull up on the mid-range jumper from the baseline. No good. Never did with the rebound. Fliggins. Off balance, able to throw it away. Never did. He'll shoot for three. That's off the back of the rim. Wilson grabs the rebound. Howard will push it. Johnson gives it up to Bowie. Shouts for travel on the Baltimore City bench. Bowie has it blocked away. Here comes Sam Johnson. Johnson goes all the way and he slams it down, but traveling will be called as Johnson pulled up his dribble just a little bit too early trying to get ready for the dunk and is called for the travel. Arthur Roche will come into the game for Shane Taylor. Roche, the 6'4 freshman guard out of Washington, D.C. Gets his first appearance of the game as Howard continues to go into their deep bench. Johnson. Finds Enriquez. They'll try to go inside. Wilson has it slapped away. It's going to stay with the Dragons. Wilson thought, thinking that he had a mismatch there, but great defense by Delahaye to slap it away. Bowie. Into Wilson, this time he is going to be fouled on the play, and it's going to be, I believe, Neverden's third foul. It will be indeed, and that is a tough, tough foul for the Panthers as their star forward is going to have to come out and sit for the rest of the first half with three fouls. Wilson at the line, shooting two. Misses the first one. Dang will replace Neverden. Right, 
Wilson hits that one. Powered into a soft man-to-man -man full court press. Fliggins will cut it inside and that's gonna be a traveling violation. Good defense by Roche to hold his ground. Fliggins arguing that it should be a foul as he thought he was pushed on the play. But it was definitely a travel if no foul was called. Bowie trying to see if they, he can get it into Wilson who's trying to box his man out. And the foul is called off the ball as Dang is called for holding Wilson underneath the basket. The two players were jockeying for position underneath as Wilson was trying to get into a position where he could post up on his man. And referee signaling that he hooked, that Dang hooked Wilson along the way. Wilson at the free throw line once more, shooting one and one, misses the first one, rebounded by Delahaye. Fliggins. Goes up against Wilson, throws it up to Dang. He'll lay it up. Good quick play by Fliggins and Dang as they continue to make up for that lost scoring by Lewis not being in the lineup. Finding it from all over the place right now. Enriquez pushes it up to Johnson. Trying to find some room. He kicks it back out to Enriquez. He'll shoot for three. That's going to be off to the right. Misses the rim entirely. Delay with the rebound. Coming back the other way. Smith has it poked away by Johnson. Johnson's going to try to push it up. Goes to his left hand, blocked by Delahaye. Fliggins will come down with it. Fliggins bumps into Smith, and Smith is going to be called for the traveling violation after a collision between the two teammates. A bad luck for the Panthers as they were looking to push it down the other way, but... Dragons catch a break. Johnson... They get it inside, Enriquez jumps over Smith, misses the layup, however, Dang with the rebound. Coming back the other way, Fliggins inside, kicks it out. Dang thought about a three-pointer, now he'll go to the rim, puts it high off the glass, that's no good, rebounded by Enriquez. Johnson into the half court. Less than four minutes remaining, Baltimore City up by 10. Enriquez. Once again, trying to get into Wilson. This time they do. Wilson goes up with it, and he puts it in. Oh, Meech Wilson playing big boy basketball underneath as he is up to 11 points. Smith goes inside. He's going to be fouled and count the basket. Zach Smith seemingly out of nowhere has just provided a huge scoring for the Panthers, he's up to 11 with a chance to make it 12. Five of five shooting from the floor. Baltimore City as a team is shooting 66% from the floor and that's going 0 for 5 from three point range. But they are getting to the rim and making those layups right now. Smith with a chance to complete the three point play. And he does just that. Baltimore City ahead by 11 points. Full court press and foul is called. We'll see who it's on. And it's going to be called on Enriquez as he was trying to push Johnson out of the way and one on one for Sam Johnson. Enriquez will come out with two fouls. Johnson hits the first of the one and one. Johnson knocks down the second one. Baltimore City ahead by 13 now with just over three minutes left in the first half. Roche to Wilson. Johnson slows things down. Johnson still dribbling around, trying to look for somewhere to go with it. Wilson inside. Mills able to box the man out and 
the layup is just going to hang on the rim for what seemed like forever. It will eventually fall in. As you can see, Howard trying to take advantage of their size there. They've been trying to use Wilson and Mills inside to box out their man, get that inside paint. And that time it worked exactly as Coach Melkson drew it up. Fliggins, another fadeaway jumper. That's going to miss. Rebounded by Wilson. Here come the Dragons. Johnson gets up to Mills. Over to Wilson. He puts it in. And a timeout is called by Baltimore City. So the Panthers went on their big run, but the Dragons trying to claw their way back. Panthers still leading by nine with just over three minutes left in this first half. It's going to be a full timeout. We will take a quick break and be back with you after this. Back in action here in Baltimore, Maryland. The Baltimore City Panthers ahead 40 to 31 on the Howard Dragons with 221 left in this first half. Dang from the elbow. Double teamed as the Dragons Switch to a zone defense, trying to throw the Panthers off. Smith gets inside of the zone and able to put in the jumper. Zach Smith up to 14 points in this first half. Roche. Finds Johnson. Wilson and Mills underneath, trying to figure out where each of them are trying to go. Again, Baltimore City with... Not a whole lot of size underneath right now. Howard trying to get it to their forwards. They do just that. Wilson inside is able to lay it in. Once again, had the inside position and good look by Arthur Roche to find Wilson. And you have to imagine, especially with Blake Neverden out with three fouls right now, Howard's going to try to get it to their big men in every single possession and keep taking advantage of that. Dang. Outside to Smith. And Smith... Called for the traveling violation. Just playing twinkle toes out there right before putting the ball on the court. And Baltimore City going to be rolling the dice right now as Blake never did with three fouls going to come in with 109 left in the first half to play defense here. Coach Wooten can't stand watching these easy layups he can give up. Have to wonder if Howard's going to attack him. He's going to do just that as that's going to be slapped away as Roche was cutting on the backside. Johnson saw him, but good defense by Flagan is able to just knock it away. That's yeah, going to be an Andrew Mills. Good jumper from him. Howard it cuts it. Baltimore City lead down to seven. 45 seconds left in this first half. 20 second difference between the game clock and shot clock. Palmer City not going to go to try to go for the two for one. Delahaye. Fliggins will give it up to Neverden from the top of the key. Johnson, good tight defense on him. Bodies flying around as Howard was trying to dive for the loose ball. Referees will have a conversation about what should be called here. It's either going to be a foul against Howard or it's going to be a traveling violation on Baltimore City. Oh. 
And it's going to be a timeout, actually, as the Baltimore City Panthers were able to get the timeout while he's on the court. It's a 30-second timeout. Baltimore City will have six seconds left on the shot clock as Coach Wooten will try to draw up a play to get one more basket here before halftime. Delahaye to inbound it. Having trouble to find where to go with it. Wilson's going to pick it off. Wilson going the other way. And he has it taken away from him by Smith. Smith finds Fliggins in the corner. Fliggins will pull it out, and a good job by Smith to recognize the situation and hold it for the last shot. Smith taking on Johnson. Zach Smith has it fumbled away. Mills steals it. Mills with two seconds left. He'll let it fly at the buzzer. No good. But the Howard Dragons will find themselves down by seven points as the Baltimore City Panthers have come out here and just absolutely taken it to these Dragons right here. Stick with us. We will have a halftime interview in just a moment.
back here at halftime with Coach Wooten. Coach, great first half for you guys. How are you feeling after that? Thank you, thank you. Um, we're feeling pretty good about uh, the spot we're in right now. Um, you know, a couple of defensive lapses at the end. Um, you know, uh, we need to tighten up. Um, but right now we're in a good spot. This is a Dragons team that's averaging only 62 points allowed all season long per game, and you put up 42 in the first half. I mean, what's working for you offensively that's really able to get all these points against a team that's usually pretty stingy? Well, our guys are, are you know, getting down here pretty well and, and finding the open guy, and then we're uh, finishing at the basket. Um, you know, we put a big emphasis on sharing the ball, right, and uh, playing team ball. So that's what's working for us right now. Zach Smith, known as more of your point guard distributor, but 6 of 6 from the field, 14 points in the first half. He's got to be feeling great after that one. Yeah, Zach's a tough guy. You know, he's a tough guy. You know, he's, he's one... Um, that always, you know, takes challenges um, on the chin, right? So he's, you know, he's always um, our, our team leader, in, you know, in, in, in the toughness field. Uh, and then getting guys riled up, ready to play. Uh, that's Zach. Sounds great. Good luck to you in the second half, Coach. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So taking a quick look at the halftime stats here. For Baltimore City, as mentioned, Zach Wills, or excuse me, Zach Smith, 6 of 6, 14 points. In that first half, Marquis Delahaye, he's got nine points. Cut Dang with eight. Antonio Fliggins with six. And Blake Neverden with just three for a player that is leading the team with 14 points per game. But again, as mentioned before, he's in foul trouble with three right now. For Howard, Omidge Wilson, he's seven of seven from the field with 15 points leading for the Dragons. And again, for a player that's not really used to that much scoring, he's only averaging eight points a game. He is leading the Dragons right now in almost every category. Emmanuel Enriquez, he's got seven. Jalen Bowie with six, Andrew Mills with six, and John Thomas has one. Five and a half minutes left until halftime. We'll be back with you in just a few minutes.
Second half underway here in Baltimore City, Maryland. As the Panthers currently holding a seven point lead over the Howard Dragons. Taylor cuts inside, good look by Omid Wilson. And Shane Taylor knocks that shot down. His first points of the game for the high scoring guard of the, of the Dragons. Talking to Coach Wooten at halftime, he's feeling good about his team, but the one concern that he did mention was occasionally having defensive lapses. That looked like one of them right off the bat. Certainly no issues with scoring, as that is going to be Delahaye from the corner. That's no good. Rebounded by Wilson. Howard going the other way. Enriquez goes to the rim, puts it up, and is going to be fouled on the play. Ball just rolled out. That will be called against Marquis Delahay, just his first foul. Blake Neverton starting the second half on the bench with those three fouls as Enriquez makes the first free throw. And will knock down the second one as well. Fliggins will bring it up for the Panthers. Guarded closely by Enriquez. He'll go to the ground and a foul will be called against Enriquez. And Enriquez cannot believe it. And that will be the third foul against Enriquez. And he will have to go right to the bench. So, talked about Baltimore City having a big loss in foul trouble. That is going to be a big one for the Dragons. As Christian Dean will get his first action of the game. Number 24, the freshman guard out of Howard County, Maryland. Fliggins into the corner and a traveling violation against Smith. So we're starting to see some turnovers stack up for both teams. But in particular, Baltimore City, a little bit of a slow start out of this second half. Taylor gets it into Mills, finds Dean. Dean's wide open and he's going to travel. try to shake off the early turnover. He's guarding Fliggins. Delahaye taking on Taylor. Delahaye to the basket and is able to throw it off the glass and in Marquise Delahaye. So dangerous with the ability to shoot it from that spot or drive the lane. Taylor gives up to Mills. Mills will turn towards the basket. Delahaye will get called for the foul as he tried to poke that away from Dean from behind and was hit on the arm during the process. So Delahaye will pick up a second foul in this half. Bowie finds Taylor at the wing. Dean inside, what a pass to Wilson and Omid Wilson puts it in. 17 points for Omich Wilson as he continues to dominate the paint for the Dragons. Having a career day offensively for Howard. Delahaye, he's going to try to go one-on-one. -on -one. This time he will pull for the jumper. That misses Bowie with the rebound. Bowie with his head up. Decides to take it himself inside. Puts it in. Count the basket and the foul. Jalen Bowie goes up strong. And I believe that foul is going to go against Bryant. Trying to see what the scoreboard puts up on that as Bowie has that rattle home for the three point play. 
Still haven't gotten confirmation about who that foul was on. Smith, he'll pull up for the jumper. That's no good. Dean pulls down a tough rebound. Bowie. Dean tried to go for the same play. This time the Panthers were ready for it. Smith up to Fliggins. Fliggins hit on that play. Has it deflected back to him. Smith has it knocked away by Bowie. Bowie trying to say it was off of Smith. And now the referees will slow things down as they will try to correct this scoreboard. So team fouls are still showing four. That sounds fine. And we are now seeing that Joshua Bryant was given that last foul. So number 10 of the Panthers also with three fouls. Fliggins. And he's going to get taken out on three-pointer as Christian... Oh, never mind. They're going to call an offensive foul. This has been a point of emphasis in the refereeing community where if a shooter kicks his leg out and tries to draw the foul, that it is going to, in fact, be an offensive foul. So the referee is saying that Fliggins kicked out, and that is why he went to the ground. Howard with a huge break there, as it looked like from most people in this arena that it was going to be three free throws for the Panthers. Mills gives it off to Dean. Dean pull, pulls up for the jumper. That's good. Christian Dean gives Howard their first lead in quite some time at 46-44. Delahay trying to answer back. He'll get to the rim. Count the basket. And now the referees are going to say don't count the basket. They're going to say the foul was on the floor. And... Coach Wooten is beside himself with anger as that should have been an and one for the Panthers, but the referee seemed uncertain about what to call and ended up giving it a foul on the floor. So it looks like it went against Bowie. That's going to be his second foul. And it's going to be a five-second violation. Dang, couldn't find anywhere to go with it. Coach Wooten forced to make a sub as it's going to be Johnson coming in for Bryant. Baltimore City still running with a seven-man rotation. Excuse me, eight-man rotation. Bowie. Able to shrug off the half-court uh, half court trap, rather. Taylor. Wilson is double teamed. Bowie was wide open, jumping up and down, trying to get it. Now he will get it from the wing. Bowie, wide open three-pointer. That's no good. Dean pulls down the offensive rebound. Dean with the fadeaway. That's no good. Wilson with the offensive rebound. He puts it up. Wilson puts it in. Howard ahead, Pulls up for the jumper. That's good. Zach Smith answering back with a jumper of his own. And a good move to open up the shooting opportunity. Was barely covered by the time he actually pulled up for it. Wilson turns and looks towards the basket. Finds Mills. Mills is going to go downhill. And it's going to be a charging violation against Mills. Sam Johnson stepped in the way. And Mills called for the charge. His second foul. Mills just three for nine in the game. Smith will pick it up in the front court. Goes immediately for the basket and that's gonna be swatted away but a foul will be called. I believe he said it was on Christian Dean. So 
So I think <laughs> Dean actually was happy to take the foul. I believe it might have been Bowie who had made the contact, and that would have been Bowie's third foul. Instead, Dean will shake him off and say, yeah, it was me. I'll take the second foul and protect his point guard. Nonetheless, Smith will go to the line shooting two and makes the first one. Zach Smith, 75% free throw shooter on the year. This Baltimore City team shoots their free throws well as a team at 68%. Smith to take a second one. No doubt about it, and it, we are tied back up at 48 all. Bowie, long pass across to find Dean. Dean's got some room in front of him. He'll give it up to Wilson. Wilson has it blocked away by Delahaye. Dean trying to go after it. It's held on the play, but somehow it's going to go back to the Panthers. What a block by Marquise Delahaye as he is able to swat it midair, taking away the dunk from Omage Wilson. Fourteen fifty left in the second half. Smith, he'll pull up. He falls down, no call. Mills with the rebound, throws up for Bowie. Bowie has a swat away. It's Marquise Delahaye again. Unbelievable play by Delahaye. Back-to-back -back dunks. The referees are now going to give a flopping warning to Fliggins on that last play. Excuse me, to, to Smith. Referee is now having a conversation about it. And we'll come away with no changes. Conway will take the technical free throws after the delay of game, excuse me, the flop called against Fliggins. And Conway will make the one free throw to give Howard the 49-48 lead. Coach Wooten still having some strong words for the referee and play will now continue. Conway inside, Bowie unopposed, goes up, slams it down. Jalen Bowie, he's up to 10 points. Howard extended to a three point lead. Fliggins taking on Conway. Fliggins will pull up another fadeaway jumper, that's no good, Bowie on the rebound. Howard coming downhill once more. Bowie goes to the rim again. Jalen Bowie puts it in. Back-to-back -back baskets for Jalen Bowie. Howard now ahead by five. And it has been all Howard in this second half so far. After a first half that was dominated by Baltimore City, Howard now 15-6 in this second half. Delahaye inside. Pump fake. That's going to be blocked away by Wilson. Bowie with another rebound. Howard comes back again. Mills begging for it while posting up. Team will now look towards Coach Smelkinson for the play call with 15 seconds left on the shot clock. Bowie pulls it back. He's going to go for the jumper. No good. Wilson fighting for the rebound with Neverden. Still going at it. The two players will get called for a held ball. And it will go towards the Panthers. And Panthers certainly needed that one. Bowie, a little bit of a heat check on that last one. Just couldn't quite get it to fall. Fliggins brings it up for the Panthers. Delahaye taking on Dean. Dean will strip it away from him. 
Conway brings up for Howard. Conway pulls up for the wide open jumper. That's no good. Fliggins can't handle the rebound off his leg and it's going to be Howard Ball. Conway will take it from underneath the basket. He'll go to Wilson up top. And Howard will restart with 17 on the shot clock. Conway inside. Gives it off to Wilson. Wilson has it swatted away. Delahaye. And a foul will be called. Oh, man, that looked like Delahaye got that cleanly. And it will go against Delahaye, his third foul. Delahaye, man, he can get up. He has been showing off the hops here and getting up there and swatting away, but just caught a little bit of Wilson's arm on that one. As Wilson will miss the first free throw. He's one of six from the free throw line in this game so far. Pretty soon the Panthers might give him the hack-a-shack treatment if he keeps this up. And he'll miss the second one. Dean fights for the offensive rebound, gets it to Wilson. Back to Dean. Dean will try an offensive uh, reverse layup, puts it in, and the foul. Christian Dean providing some energy. Didn't play in the first half, but a huge impact so far in this second half. Turned it over the first time he touched the ball. Coach Smelkinson trusted his freshman guard and being rewarded for it right now. And that foul was charged to Marquis Delahaye, his fourth team foul, or excuse me, fourth personal foul. And he is now going to have to sit on the bench as the Panthers' leading scorer now sitting down for an extended period of time to make sure that he's available at the end of it. Dean completes the three point play. Smith finds Fliggins from the wing. Tries to come around the screen. Bowie's still right there. They'll switch off. Now Fliggins will cut between. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Meech Wilson just swatted that into the next county. Baltimore City coaches begging for a foul as there was contact with the lower body. But it will be Baltimore City ball from underneath the basket. Coach Wooten still trying to get his piece in with the referees. Nine on the shot clock. Dang. Dang, in the corner. Now try to get to the baseline, and Mills will be called for the foul as he held him back. It will be the third foul against Andrew Mills. And Mills will go to the bench with that foul as Emmanuel Enriquez, who also has three fouls, will replace him. Neverden from the corner. Gives up to Bryant. Dang. Looking to turn the corner. Wilson's right on him. Now he's going to try to go forward with it. As Johnson can't catch that one. That patch the corner. Bowie was right there. But Johnson just had to go off his fingertips. And another turnover for the Panthers. Bowie to Conway. Conway will drive through, lays that one up, misses on the layup, no good. Bryant on the rebound. Dang, we'll try a three-pointer. That's off the back of the rim. And Wilson able to pull the rebound down. Now has it slapped away off the knee of the Dragons, and it will go to the Panthers. Howard will go back to a man-to-man -man defense underneath the basket. Smith floats it up for Neverden. Bowie tried to strip it away from him from behind. But good strength with that. Bryant from the top of the key with 12 seconds on the shot clock. Smith gets around the screen. Running out of time now, four seconds. Smith, an off-balance shot. That's going to hit the rim, so it will reset the clock at least. Ball's on the ground. Players fighting for it, and the referees will call a timeout for the Dragons. Dean had it just long enough to get the timeout for Howard. 
And it's going to be a 30 second timeout. Cannot say enough about the game that O. Meach Wilson has had 19.7 rebounds. And this is for a player that has, came into the game averaging eight points per game. Wilson's career high for a game is 23, which he scored against the Monroe College JV team just two weeks ago, as he is looking to try to match or perhaps surpass that number here against Baltimore City. 11-18 in the second half. Howard ahead, 56-48 over the Panthers of Baltimore City. Panthers go back to their 1-2-2 full court press. Howard moving it up slowly and methodically as they get it up to Emmanuel Enriquez. Enriquez will now turn and that is gonna be laid in Brian nearly got a piece of that one. But a strong play, Emmanuel Enriquez, who was in a bit of foul trouble himself, up to 11 points for Howard. Neverton pulls up. What a, this is going to be a long two just inside the arc. But Blake Neverton with a confident pull up jumper. Haven't seen much of him offensively in this game, but he needs to get himself involved for Baltimore City to make a good run on these Dragons. Dean, he'll pull up for a three-pointer, that's good. Christian Dean hits the three-pointer. What a game for him. Seemingly out of nowhere in the second half. Never did, he'll drive it inside, he's gonna be blocked away. Oh, Meech Wilson playing like he's the heart of the team right now. Bowie, he'll go up with it and it's gonna be fouled on the play as Conway gave it up to him. Omich Wilson, seven rebounds, three blocks, three assists, and a steal. Just filling up the stat sheet. The only thing he doesn't have on here is a foul. All that and not a single foul in this game. Bowie hits the first one. That foul is gonna go against Bryant, and the board shows him for three fouls, but I believe that would be his fourth. Bowie misses the second one. Brian has it stripped away by Bowie and Bowie will get it back for Howard. With a fresh 20 second shot clock. Conway comes around the screen. Now he'll give it up to Wilson. Dean, he'll curl, floats out the right hander. That's off the rim. And Delahaye comes down with the rebound for the Panthers. Going back the other way. Bryant pushing the pace. Dean trying to take the charge, and he will indeed. Christian Dean takes the charge as Bryant put his shoulder down and put it right into the chest of Dean. Jaden Johnson will come in for Jalen Bowie for the Dragons. Dean to Conway. He'll find Enriquez in the corner, but he stepped out with his back foot. And turnover for the Dragons. Fliggin will pick it up at midcourt. Haven't seen much from Fliggins after he hit three early shots in this game and a foul will be called and this will look like it will be against Wilson. No, correction, it will be Jaden Johnson. He'll pick up his first foul as he reached in for that. Enriquez picks off the inbound pass. Enriquez takes on Neverden and lays it in. Emmanuel Enriquez. Flexes after that one. He's up to 13 points with the steal and coast to coast. Powered ahead by 14. 
Panthers just trying to find the rhythm that they had in this first half. Neverden has that picked off by Conway. Now Conway is off to the races. He'll go to layup. It's going to be blocked away by Neverden. Dean stepped out of bounds. He tried to throw it off of Neverden. What a huge block. The chase down by Blake Neverden. Dang. Tries to find Delahaye, picked off by Wilson. Another steal for Omich Wilson. Wilson will pick it up. Delahaye tried to steal that away. Enriquez from the corner, just misses. Strong rebound by Dang. He'll push it up to Delahaye. Delahaye, zero step, reverse layup, no good. Smith with the offensive rebound. He'll put that bump in, in and draws the foul as well. And that will be against Omi Wilson. So now he will finally pick up his first foul. Board has that towards Ryan Conway, but it was definitely Wilson. Might have gotten confused with the 21 instead of the 12. Smith able to complete the three-point play. Zach Smith, he's up to 19 points. Baltimore City still trailing by 11, needing to create some turnovers here. Conway taking his time. Or Blake Neverton out on the perimeter guarding him. Now they'll switch. Johnson looking to get in for Enriquez. Enriquez with a strong play. Count the basket and the foul, and Enriquez is pumped after that one. And once again, we see the Dragons taking advantage of the size difference. Enriquez boxed his man out, posted up, turned strong, and even fought through the foul by Zach Smith, his second foul of the game. And Enriquez looking to answer back with his own hoop and harm. Misses on the free throw. Never did. Fliggins, Smith has it knocked away. Wilson, another steal for him as he swatted that. Conway gets possession. Conway cuts it inside, layup, that's no good. Dean on the follow up, put back and in. Christian Dean again, he's up to 10 points all in the second half. Coach Wooten forced to call timeout with his team down 15. It'll be a full timeout. We'll be back after this break. in action here, 7-16 left in the second half. Baltimore City looking to try to recover. 
And that is a great way to do it as Cut Dang knocks down the three pointer from just above the key. Cuts into that Howard lead. Dang, he's up to 11 points with that three pointer. Wilson. Howard working through their offense. Dean. Gets around Dang, now he'll go to the inside. Johnson open from the three-point range in the corner. That is good. Jaden Johnson adds his first points of the game on the corner three. Our back ahead by 15. Fliggins. Get pass across to Smith. Three-pointer, that's a little strong. Fight for the rebound and Bowie will come down with it. Enriquez to Bowie. Now it's Enriquez. He's going to spin towards the middle. What a move. Misses the layup. Gets his own rebound. Misses again. Gets it back again. And it is fouled on the third attempt. Foul is going to go against Dang. His second foul. Enriquez to the line, shooting two. 70% free throw shooter on the year, makes the first one. Enriquez has the second one fall in after hitting the rim a few times. Howard ahead by 17, their biggest lead of the game. Dang. Tries to pass away, it's gonna be knocked away by Dean. Johnson. Bowie to Wilson. Three seconds on the shot clock. Bowie's going to have to let one loose. Hits the rim on that, and Wilson gets the offensive rebound as the long rebound bounce off the rim. Almost came out to the three point line again. Johnson, he'll step back for the three pointer. That is going to rattle off. Wilson with the offensive rebound puts it up and in. Oh, Meach Wilson does indeed match his career high 23 points. Three-pointer from the wing. That's no good. Never done off the mark. And that's a silly foul. He pushes Dean from behind. And that is going to be five fouls, I believe, against Never. Excuse me. That's the fourth foul against Neverton. So Bryant's got four fouls. Neverton's got four fouls. Delahaye's got four fouls. And Christian Dean will be at the line shooting two free throws as Baltimore City now in the double bonus. Ten fouls in this second half as Dean will miss the first one. Second one up and in. And that will bring Keith Henderson Jr. back in as he will replace Delahaye. We will also see... Jeffrey Hall Jr. come in. He'll take over for Dang. Howard up 20 points now with under five minutes remaining in the second half. Pax is picked off Christian Dean. He'll go back the other way. One versus three. Dean scoops up, misses. Fighting for the rebound. It's going to be Smith coming away with it. Smith is going to call for the carry violation as Johnson tried to poke that away. Smith carried it and trying to protect the ball. Hey, 
Wilson. Trying to get the back cut of Enriquez. Good defense there by Henderson. Enriquez now blocked away by Henderson. Fliggins going back the other way. Has it knocked away from him. Second try, and that is going to be a foul on Dean. And they're going to give that foul to Jalen Bowie, who is seemingly nowhere near that play. But maybe it's a makeup call from the other one where it should have gone the other way. So now Bowie up to three fouls. Sometimes it all just evens out in the game of basketball. Fliggins makes the first one and misses the second one. But it's going to be a lane violation against the Dragons. So Fliggins will get a second chance at it. Thirty-nine to fifteen in favor of Howard in the second half. Just a complete reversal from what we saw in the first half as Fliggins is able to knock it down on the second try. Johnson working on Hall. Enriquez to Dean. Dean curls around. He'll go downhill. Puts it up. Hit on the play, no foul, and it's going to be rebounded by Henderson. Fliggins, a little stop and start. Tries to pass it off to a cutting Henderson, but not on the same page there. Yeah, has that ball thrown away? As Conway will come in, Christian Dean, who has played almost the entire second half, gets a well-deserved rest as he has given a valuable almost 15 minutes for the Dragons. Johnson gets inside, one verse four, misses on the finger roll layup. Wilson with the offensive rebound, he's able to put that in. Oh, Meech Wilson, just too much for these Panthers right now. 25 points, nine rebounds for the Howard sophomore forward. Fliggins kicks it out to Henderson. He'll pull up for the jumper. That's short. Fliggins able to jump up, grab the rebound, but called for the traveling violation as he went to the ground. Wilson able to throw it up to Conway, who decides not to take on the two or three Panther defenders that were in his way and one deep slowed things down. Howard back ahead by 20, 78-58. Conway cuts it inside. He'll try to lay it up and in and the foul is called as well. The foul will go against Hall, his first. Conway completes the three-point play with the free throw. Howard falls back into his zone. Fliggins for the three-pointer. That's no good. Conway with the rebound, pushing it up. Tries to get it to Taylor. That's picked off as Conway didn't quite see that one well. Fliggins gives it up to... Hall, that's no good. Hall on the second try is able to put that in. Jeffrey Hall Jr. puts in his first points of the game. Conway. Cuts inside, left-handed floater. That's going to go in. Conway with back-to-back -back baskets. Just like that, he's up to six points. Yeah. 
Fliggin, long three-pointer, that's no good. Taylor trying to get the offensive rebound, or excuse me, defensive rebound is able to save that and flip it to his teammate. A minute 20 left. Enriquez. As that one mishandled by Wilson, long pass forward, Fliggins can't get a hand on it and it will go back to Howard. Wilson did get his 10th rebound, so give him another double-double. 25 points, 10 rebounds, three blocks, three seals, three assists. Cannot say enough about what that sophomore forward has done. And a technical foul will be called. I believe it's going to be technical fouls on both Fliggins and Taylor. And Taylor will go to the bench. Taylor, or excuse me, Conway will catch it in the backcourt. Conway taking on the entire Panthers defense and is fouled on the play. Oh. Whatever it was that Coach Smokinson said to his team at halftime, it certainly worked. As Conway will go to the line, makes the first one. 47 to 18 in this second half in favor of Howard. As we will see Omich Wilson getting his curtain call out for the Dragons. Howard does not have a gym to play in this year. They've played all the way games throughout this season and appear to be moving their record up to 16 and five on the year. Baltimore City will fall back to a 500 record at eight and eight. Henderson, long three-pointer, that's no good. Roche with the rebound, and shot clock will be turned off after that one. As Roche will just look to dribble it out over the final 10 seconds, and... And that will do it. Strongly contested first half, less so in the second half as it was all Howard Dragons. As Howard is able to pull away and secure the 85-260 road win over the Baltimore City Panthers. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back for a post-game interview right after this.
Taking a quick look at the final stats here after an exciting first half, as I mentioned before, but in the end, Howard just too much. Star of the game, Omich Wilson, 25 points, 10 rebounds. Emmanuel Enriquez with 15 points for Howard. Jalen Bowie with 13. Christian Dean, 10 points all in the second half. Ryan Conway ended up with eight. Andrew Mills with six. Shane Taylor with four. Jaden Johnson with three. And John Thomas with one. For the Panthers, Zach Smith had that huge first half. Ended up with 21 points in the game. Marquise Tallahay, uh, rough game by his lofty standards. He finished with 11. Cut Dang with 11. Antonio Fliggins with 8. Blake never went in with 2. Or excuse me, with 5. And then Sam Johnson and Jeffrey Hall with 2 points each. So Baltimore City will fall to 8-8 eight and eight on the season as they have a big one coming up. A Division 1 rival in the form of Hagerstown Community College. That game will be at Hagerstown on Wednesday, January 24th at 6.30 p.m. So certainly keep an eye on that one. For all your up-to-date information for Baltimore City Panthers, go to bccpanthers.com for all the information that you would need about the Panthers' season as they continue to get ready for those playoffs coming in March. That'll do it for us here in Baltimore. On behalf of everybody here at Baltimore Community City Community College, we appreciate you stopping by, and we appreciate your support all year long. Final score here in Baltimore, it is Howard, 85 over Baltimore City, 60.